Hey guys, this is the first time I've recorded in a while, and if you haven't noticed, I am playing Minecraft, but today we're doing something a little different. Uh, I'm trying to show off a pretty cool server that I play on pretty constantly. Not gonna deny that. Uh, it's called Naval Battle Zone High Caliber, and today is just an introduction into the server itself. So, you'll start here. You'll start right here. You'll see a transit station person. The first thing you actually want to do is slash tutorial. I spelled that wrong. Anyway. Unless they removed the command. I don't think they did. Anyway. The first thing you do is slash, uh, oh, it was slash training, wasn't it? First thing you want to do, right now it's bugged, so, uh, go back to hub. Sometimes it gets bugged like that. Someone sinks the ship by accident. So the the entire premise of the server is you have working ships that can fight each other. They have full interiors usually, and it's World War II based. If you couldn't tell by the kind of theme around here. So let's say you've done training. Let's say it gets fixed. The first place you might want to go is dockyard. And this is our dockyard. We have these different plots here. All of them are sized differently. Well, not all of them. But there's different sized plots, is the point. So you have these small, like, patrol boat plots. And you get something a little bigger over there. With, like, corvettes and small subs. There's even mine layers in the small, small plots. Corvettes and subs in this area. I guess frigates too. And then you get stuff like this. I, if this is the destroyer plot area, these are all one-to-one -one builds. If you haven't noticed, someone's working on a Fletcher. I don't think that's the Fletcher. Here's one. And we go up to cruiser and battleships. Generally, the most type of ship used on the server is a destroyer. Because they're, number one, the easiest to run. And number two, they're fun. They don't need huge, uh, huge stuff to do it. So I'll, I'll, I'll uh, throw you into the basics. We're not doing ship building today, I'll just show you how to load plots. Maybe a little combat. Like, how to use a combat ship. And so we're gonna go head over to... Cruiser plots. I will advise, do not build a cruiser first. That's just a bad idea. So, you right-click to select this sign, and then you can left-click to scroll, left and right-click to scroll through, and shift left, left-clicking loads in the ship itself. This is something I'm working on. So, once you have this all loaded in, you can then unload it if you need to. Let's say you don't want to work on this, you loaded in the wrong thing. Come back here, shift right click, and then shift left click. It's that simple. A lot of people seem to get confused on that one. Uh, next, we're, I'm going to load in a ship. We're going to go into a place called Sea Trials. And what Sea Trials is, it's where you uh, test a ship. So, that's not really where you go to fight. It's more just going over to see if your ship works, how fast it can go. Quite literally a sea trial. So we're going to grab this guy. And we're going to head over to sea trials. Quick warning to anyone who actually decides to watch this. The server is pretty intensive on your computer. So if you, if you have a low spec computer, it might not run too well. But generally, it runs okay. I'm like medium spec and stuff. It usually runs pretty well. 
So we're going to go slash ST. That's how you get to C trials. And we're here. So we're going to spawn. All you have to do is right click this random spawn. And it will spawn you on a ship. On your ship that you selected. Which all you have to do is right click this sign to select it and uh, dockyard. You're going to see all this stuff on the side of my screen. It's like, oh. All my diesels, my boilers, all of that loading in. So, with that, there are some pretty basic things you need to learn. And it's pretty easy to do all this stuff, but it's good to show you anyway. Climb up here. To use one of these turrets, all you got to do is right click on the cannon. Right clicking swivels the turret. Left clicking fires. And then you gotta either manually load it yourself or be in something called battle stations. And all you have to do is ship BS to go into battle stations. And it will equip all the crew on the ship onto the ship. You shift right click to change your ammo. You right click to tell your guy down there he needs to load. Once you're unloaded, of course. You can't turn a turret when it's not loaded. So that's uh, some advice. If you try to like turn while loading, sometimes it can glitch out and break. So let's say I don't want to just control one gun. I want to control all the guns. Because I'm running a small crew and everyone's doing something and we just don't have the crew to support everyone being on the turret. Well, what you do is you go find a sign called the Gun Director. So for me, I have to climb up here. And climb up this ladder. It's in here. It says Gun Director 5, open. That means I can get on it. This directs specifically the 5 inch guns that I have, these things. And I can turn all my guns. So even the rear one that you can't see is turned here. And fire all of them at once. This is more useful for finding things like range. So if there was, let's say, yeah, let's try to range out that block right there. I'm using Optifine, by the way, that's just a good advice. So it says, if I go over here, 99 meters. So I would want to aim for my elevation to hit 95. So estimated range. 95. If you notice, they'll hit somewhere on that level for that block. Next, pretty simple stuff. Getting out of this turret. I mean, getting out of this uh, gun director is not simple, but so let's say you want to move the ship. That's usually pretty simple. You'll have a helm of some sort on your ship. This is how you change the speed, so if you right click that, I'll go to slow. If I left click it, I'll stop. So I'll get us up to slow. If I want to change the heading, if I want to like turn us right, for example, I right click. If I want to turn us left, I left click. And the farther you turn it, the faster it's going to turn. Certain ships will turn quicker based on their length to width ratio, and some will turn slower. Just know a longer ship generally takes longer to turn. Here's a radio. You can use this to contact other people on the same hertz. So if you right click this, you see that right there? That's the hertz. Shift right click, I turn it off. Right click again, it's on. If I right click it, I change the hertz by raising the hertz. Left clicking lowers the hertz. Shift left clicking 
change if you're receiving messages or you're sent messages and it allows you to change frequencies. To chat with the radio, you gotta use the command slash ra uh, chat radio. Because I'm still on the radio, I can do it. And you'll notice, I think in a second, I don't know if it's lagging or not. But sometimes it does that. So if I go. My bad. If I go here, scrolling through messages, if I scroll through sent messages, it says 1E. So I sent that message. So what it, it's actually pretty good to have like two radios in the same room, have one on sent, one on uh, received, and you switch between the two to make sure everything's sent right. Okay, we're going to head down. Back. Yeah, let's right here. So this is the detector. Detectors are funky little things. Uh, they basically tell you where a ship is with no no actual range on it. So like, let's say for example, there's a ship over here. So it's gonna show a line right here for a couple seconds and then disappear. And it's not gonna tell you how far it is. So it just gives you a basic idea where an enemy ship may be. These things are fairly long range, so if you get one of them and ping on it, you need to check with over here, radar. So this is a radar. Let's turn it on. Let's shift right click. And there's several different modes. So if I want to change the mode, I shift. Oh wait, they removed that, my bad. Anyway. I want to change how it's, uh, I want to change the range, for example, which the range matters. I just right click it. And it just changes the range. So you can get more accurate uh, pings with a shorter range, but of course you can't detect all that far. I turn off the radio, radar. Next we have this little guy, this sonar. This is where you can change the, uh, how it works. So you can ping manually with a left click. Just a normal left click will ping manually. If you're on sweep, you have constant and will keep sending out. The best form of using this is Omni. There's nothing here, so we won't see it. We can change the range. It goes only up to a thousand. And that's how you get like subs. That's how you detect subs. There's a couple other things to show for your basic introduction. Uh, and after this, we're just going to go look at ships. Because uh, I, I think you guys should get a general feel for the server through the ships that are made, not just mine. So, here's where we need to be. And then here's our kitchen. In here. Oh, wait. Okay. In this kitchen, you can make food. You're wondering how to make food. Well, first you need to find some cargo. So we're going to go to a different kitchen, because I know the different one has cargo, and I think that one's cargo is behind a wall. We're going to go to the main kitchen. That's a scullery. Uh, yeah, here's the kitchen. Here's the main kitchen. Grab one of these cargo off the wall. All you have to do is right click, and we'll give you a food tray. Place that down. It's a cake. Heels. Gives you... Uh, hunger. That's how you use the food. Let's say the ship is damaged. I grab one of these cargo, and the easiest way to do an AS is you go up here. You don't have to go anywhere to do this. Let's say you're walking towards the damage. Let's say, uh, let's say this part of the ship got blown off. You left click, and it repairs. It's, there's nothing to repair here, so it's not going to repair here. Come down here. This is our engine room. So we have a bunch of battery, we have a bunch of fuel. 
that's how we know which direction we're going. This is how we know what speed we want. So if you have like a big crew, you can run the engines manually. I'm not great with engines. It's not my place to judge. The point is, you can run your engines manually. Oh, uh, left clicking and right clicking, like everything else. Next, we're gonna come down here to the boilers. Now here, we have a fire pump. So, in battle, ships like to catch fire. That's just how it is. So if I want to stop a fire, I'll turn on the fire pump first. And I'll come over here. I'll right click this block and it'll give me a fire hose. If you use it, I left click. And if you notice, it's 70 out of 400 PSI. This ship has four fire, fire pumps, each in a boiler. No, it's two. My bad. I'm sorry. This ship has two fire pumps. Each of them generate 200 PSI. And I just left click. You can run out of PSI, so you want more fire pumps. It's always good to have fire pumps. The more PSI you have, the uh, harder it will also shoot. And there are, the fires have different heats, so the higher the heat, you want a more, uh, what's the higher PSI on your fire pumps. These are depth charges. I forgot to put the launchers on them, so I can't show you that. I can show you how a depth charge works back here. And they're very simple. I shift, right click it to change where it explodes. I'm gonna make that really low because these things have a big explosion upwards. Left clicking does the same, just opposite. Left clicking push it. Left clicking pushes these things, so if I want to push this forwards, there. Whatever direction I'm looking, it will go. Right clicking pulls. So let's say I want to put it back where it is. I don't know what happened. Up. Let's see. Okay, something weird's going on. I need to go check up on that later. But, uh. Oh, I think it's because I ran out of power. Anyway. So if you want to cast one of these things, it's really easy. You just put it... You use slash depth charge. So I, I ready it. And you go slash depth charge. And then you left click it off the side of the ship. Now, if you're smart, you're going to back away. You don't want to explode. A lot of people stay there and just die. I think I mislabeled one of my generators, and I think that's the issue. So yeah, you hear that big boom? That's how you kill subs. And there's probably one more thing I can show you guys. Uh, first, I'm going to check something. Yeah, I mislabeled that one, so that's supposed to be a steam gen. Anyhow. Shut off the fire bomb. Yeah, so it overheats. You use it too much, it just overheats and stops working. There is probably one more thing to show you guys. That would usually be torpedoes. That diesel gen really doesn't want to stop. Uh, give me a second, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, it's ammo, my bad. So, let's say you want to load something manually. This is probably not going to be a surprise, how you do this. It's very simple. So, i got to find a lighter to get up. Be one right around here. Uh, 
combat gets really hectic on the server. Like, if there's two decent-sized crews fighting each other. So let's say this thing runs out of ammo. Let's say ship BS. That's how you take everyone away from it. I get on this thing, I fire off its entire uh, set of ammo. So it's out now. It doesn't. It doesn't have any ammo. It's not loaded. I come over here. I. I right click. Right click. Right click this. Now right click that, and it reloads the gun manually. So you right click your ammo. And just right click it into the gun itself. And that's really all I can show about how these ships work, at least. Well, I mean, how you can fight in them, at least. So, I'll use slash ship destroy, and this gets rid of the ship. After I'm done testing whatever I need to. I've already tested that ship, really. I don't really need to take it out. And then I can go back to hub, slash hub. And now we're just going to look at a couple ships. A couple different ships by different people. You're supposed to put a nameplate on your ships, by the way, so if I don't see a nameplate, I'm sorry. So let's see, does this one have a nameplate? No. This is a Schnell loot, though. German uh, torpedo boat. You have a bunch of little torpedo boats here. This is uh, Say No More. He's one of the people that frequents the server, and this is a mine layer he made. Another mine layer. He has a couple of these. I think he said he's made three. That's for something later. So stay tuned for that. And another Say No More Hole. Good way to tell Say No More Holes is the flat front, because he builds a bunch of World War One stuff. Subs. So subs are pretty cool. I don't remember who sub that, sub that is. I think it's uh, someone's. Got another sub. This is a cool way to see how like the interiors of these ships are laid out. They're pretty intensely laid out. You get certain sections with certain things, like this is a fuel and battery storage. You have freezer. Some pumps. I think those are specifically supposed to be like uh, plumbing. Fuel and engines. All this kind of stuff. These cutouts are really cool to look at when you have a finished ship doing them. So, I'm pretty sure this is Gollum's. Nicholas, yeah, it says Nicholas. Which is a Fletcher class. That's the ship we were just on, it's a summer. Th this video probably seems pretty boring, I'm not gonna lie. Because it's just introducing you to the basics of the combat in this. And the basics of just doing things. Because when you get down to shipbuilding, it's a little more complex, you know? Because there's a lot of things to make a ship work. If you couldn't tell, I guess. So this is something I was working on. This is Bob's deformed uh, DD. That's an actual plan. That, that was something that was actually planned by the Germans. German plans are stupid sometimes. Bob's Alaska, Turpets. That's someone named Pims, Iowa, last time I checked. And this is a guy that's been working on a uh, light carrier. He's been working on it for a little while now. So, that's the basics of the server. Everything you kind of need to know. At least to get in combat and do your first couple things. Next, I will be releasing something on how to do engines and guns. So, I'll, I'll do engines and turrets the same thing and also show kind of how to make a look and make an engine look decent so uh thank you for tuning in i guess i'll uh
I'll probably post that tomorrow or the day after. I'm, I'm going to be making a bunch of videos at the same time and then releasing them one after another. So, yeah, maybe that will help. Hope you enjoyed this and I hope you visit the server. The server is called Naval Battle Zone High Caliber. And to get to it, all you need to do is go to the link I've put in the description as in, it's not going to be really a link, it's just the server IP that's going to be there. If you have any questions, you'll see me on the server as a uh, playing Firex, you'll see someone named Colgar, he usually helps people out too. And sometimes you can usually see the community be pretty friendly. Some people you don't want to listen to. I'm telling you right now, there's some people you don't want to listen to. They have really weird, non-functioning ideas. Like, if you, if you really need a question answered, you can ask Gollum. Don't don't waste his time. Ask him. Ask, ask either me or Kolagar, or if you see someone called Blockboy on, you ask him. Alrighty. I think that sums it up for the basics of just doing normal things. And I'll see you guys whenever I post the next video.